Hey, no matter what time of year you're watching this, it doesn't really matter because it's springtime here in South Dakota and that means growth. And uh, with spring, I've got plant growth. I've made a spreadsheet on collecting information and data about plant growth. Now, make sure uh, if you check out the description below, you're gonna see a link to this file. And when you open up that file, you're gonna go to file up at the top and make a copy for yourself. Uh, when you hit when you do that it will save to your google drive and make you the owner that way you can manipulate it how you see fit share it out with your students either through google drive or through google classroom continuing on we've got uh, days here and i've got two different scenarios uh, i've got plant growth with sunlight and with artificial light now if you wanted to collect data on whatever it doesn't matter maybe it's uh, collecting uh, height of students or maybe it's uh, how many how many teeth you have in your head it doesn't really matter here i've got some simple instructions uh, for this spreadsheet as simple as uh, just opening it up and just start plugging in information uh, if you want you can also insert columns to the right or to the left and likewise with rows i can insert uh, above or below if i have more plot points i need to add in there so far so good uh, you can sort data, but more importantly, you can also graphically represent that data. And here I've got a corresponding uh, spreadsheet that shows the, pretty much the same thing, except now I've taken uh, that data and I've made a chart out of it. Now there's either the insert chart button here or insert chart button right here. And this is what that kind of looks like. Now, when I open up a, uh, the chart for the first time, it opens up the chart editor. And on the right-hand side, there's all sorts of ways that you can manipulate this chart and customize it to what you see fit. Now, there's a lot of opportunities for reaching higher order thinking skills by getting into that analysis aspect of things when students are able to look at charts. And the best part about that is, is there's that correlation factor that they see there's something going on in relationship to either a factor of time or, or whatnot. I highly encourage you to check this out. If you haven't done so already, uh, reach out to me also if you have any questions over this or you have uh, no idea on how to get started. As always, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up down below. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit the notification bell if you haven't done that to make sure that you uh, get notified when new content's pushed out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day.